Hey guys, so I'm back with another Abyss meta video, this time looking at Navia teams, talking about why I'm playing a team and then speed run gameplay with it. Now Navia is one of the strongest single target damage dealers in the game, but you can get a surprising amount of AoE damage if you position her correctly. And the way you want to play is try line up as much enemies as possible with her skill, letting it hit all enemies is very important, you'll see me do it a lot. Now I often get asked what is Navia's strongest team, people ask about Farina, maybe new plunge teams, Zhongli versus Chiori. So what I've always used has been Navia with another Geo, something like this, and then Bennett and Shangling. I default to this team for casual clears getting my 36 stars, as well as these teams also working the best for speedrunning. I also know these are always the highest for Navia in team usage rate surveys. So what makes Shangling so good for Navia? So if we compare Shangling to Farina or Fischl for example, what Shangling immediately has is the best AoE elemental application. And as we know with Navia, the more elemental application your team has, the more elemental shards you create, meaning the higher her skill damage. And this is very helpful since I build the team's playstyle around New King with Navia's skill. So it's important to make it as strong as I can. Shangling's Pyro also helps destroy the Coppelius's shield quickly in Chamber 2. Although as we discussed last video, you can also use Farina to do that too with Farina's normal attack. But Shangling also brings Pyro Resonance, which is another 25% attack to Navia and whilst this won't compare to Farina's team wide buffs it does help reduce the gap. Another thing that Shangling can do is scale higher depending on your movement. As you guys might already know you can time Navia's dashes and this can let Pyronado hit more frequently. And then the last thing you get with Shangling is fast setups which is always very nice considering the quicker you can get to use Navia's skill the quicker your teams can start dealing good damage. You could say one of the reasons why plunge teams were never that popular for for speed runs is because it's more of the opposite. The setups in these teams take much longer and you lose the focus on Navia's skill damage in exchange for plunge damage, which can be a fun playstyle for sure, but it's not exactly optimal for speed running. So I've found that at C0, Jungli is generally just better overall than Chiori, more so if it's short fights like bosses. This is because Jungli's power budget is based around buffing Navia's damage, which means that the more invested your Navia is, the better results you'll get. And doing more skill damage is more front loaded damage making Churi's sustained damage matter less. His shield is also very helpful for comfort. In fact, you might not realize how much it's doing until you try use Chiori or Albedo instead and you notice that your Navia is more prone to getting staggered since the crystallized shields other Geo characters make aren't that consistent. But I do really like playing Chiori, especially since she has a huge damage increase at C1. I get around 52 to 64% increase in my calcs. Chiori's teleport is also very useful in Chamber 1 and her damage is guaranteed here whereas Zhongli's pillar can easily be destroyed by the strong attacks in the first two chambers and I find Chiori's sustained damage is also very noticeable in longer fights like chamber 3. So that's how I can explain this team the best for now. I'm playing a 4 cost team today so I'm using Navia with her signature weapon. I'm using Chiori with the 3 star Harbinger of Dawn but I'm using her C1 and then 4 star teammates with 4 star weapons. So let's get on with the game play.
so i hope you guys enjoyed that here's the full builds you can use golden troop or husk on Churi. in my calcs they're basically the same thing so farm whichever one you want and pick the one which has the most substats and let me know if you tried this team or if you've been playing other navia teams and yeah thanks for watching